to have you here in this awesome morning briefing show. I'm your host, Marcus Gabel, with my lovely moderator in the back, Anna. Wonderful. Good morning. I hope you're doing good and you are healthy again and your family too. And all of you guys around the world, it's literally speaking to around the world because you're placed in different places around the world. Harish, wonderful. Good morning. And uh, Tina, wonderful. Good morning. Nice to meet you here again. It's uh, so lovely and I'm so grateful that we can start every single day from German time, of course. Marie-Louise, wonderful. Good morning to start with this wonderful morning briefing show and I hope we can make it as long as possible to grow up and to see how successful trading can be on a long run, not just only on a short run, just only on a long run, because it's my mission to make you happy and to help you to become successful in trading. So therefore, I love to share my knowledge with you, even it doesn't replace a private coaching, by the way, this is a different topic, but I'm really happy that we can share a bit of knowledge all together. So guys, uh, as always, you know, we stream this Zoom session live on YouTube. And if you watch it on YouTube live right now, or maybe later as a recording, you will find a button in your right corner. You can click on it, then you can subscribe this Admiral's channel. You can give us a like if you say a thumb up, maybe you say, okay, that's a cool session. I learned a little bit for my own trading. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, you can do it also in the commentary field below uh, the video. Or right now, in the chat, in YouTube, and of course, on Zoom as well. Kurt, wonderful, good morning. So then let's share the screen. And let me fix the chat. And the participants, I can see also, I'm really happy to have you here. Uh, from all of you around the world. So Arne, Alexander, Andreas, Danny, Günther, Harish, Aru, Ivo, Kurt, Lisa, Marie-Louise, uh, Mihai, uh, and another Mihai, by the way, Peter, Piotr, Sandra, greetings to Australia. Nice to meet you here. Thomas, Tina, Druta, and Willy, close to me here. Okay, see you. Okay, guys, uh, that's the morning briefing show. I'm not so important. That's the most important. That is uh, the risk note. You know, we talk about just trading ideas, uh, not advices, just only you are responsible for your own trading. So that's uh, our broker with over 8,000 financial instruments. And that's me, that's not important. So you can send an email if you want to Admiral Markets by live trading at admiralmarkets.com. Or if you want to follow my private or my personal social channels, you can do it on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or twitch.tv. And of course, you should follow. If you, have, if you have an Instagram account, you should follow Admirals Global as well, because they have lovely content on their Instagram account. As you know, and maybe you are a little bit new here in our trading, um, in our morning briefing show, then you should know that you, uh, as a private trader, you don't have influence to the market. You cannot affect, and you always has this. You always have this question mark in front of your eyes the moment you want to open a trade. You are on the right side of the chart. You're on the right side of the chart and there's always the question mark. And this makes us crazy. You know, that's completely different to our life. So in life, you can learn something, you can become an expert, and then you can predict the result before you start the process because you know what you have to do. So and if you get a result, which is not that result what you expected, then you can go back in the process and you can find the mistake. Then you can fix the mistake and you have your result you expected most of the times. And of course, if you do much more, you will have much more results. And with this believing tenets with this, yeah, this is kind of believing you come to trading and then trading shows you the mirror what kind of person you are. 
because suddenly you cannot work with this tenets in trading because you can trade much more you have much more costs and you don't have that result you expect so you always have this question mark on your in front of your nose literally and this makes us crazy and we have to handle this so and in my opinion the only way you can handle this question mark to make it from this big to this it never hides by the way it never never disappears never because you don't have influence the market but you make it as small as possible you need to work with strategies and therefore the sentence you know let's sing it if you cannot work with guarantees you have to work with probabilities Yeah, probabilities means you have to work with a strategy and a strategy is built on the mathematical calculation, which means of specific circumstances of specific conditions, which means you need rules. So that's a logical consequence. Think it through and you will figure it out by yourself. So we have a strategy and this is not my strategy. It's not uh, the rules for Marcus. That's the rules from Mr. Charles Dow. He figured that out in the year 1879 when he is watching the guys who are uh, standing on the ladder uh, which was on the wall and they type, they are writing with, a, with white, uh, what's the English word for Kreide? I don't know, which white color on the, on the, uh, on the wall, yeah? And just only prices and volume, no reasons, no names. And then he figured out, okay, that's the business principle. That's the business principle Principle I can make money without having a reason if I buy cheap and sell expensive. So therefore, we create, he created this strategy, the Dow strategy, Charles Dow strategy, follow the trend and calc. Thanks, Ian. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, those guys on the ladder uh, wrote with calc. A white calc on the on the um, on the table, not the table. The Jesus, you know what I mean at the wall. Uh, that the prices and the volume. So and we have to follow that rules uh, too. Those rules are obsolete. The market has changed. Ah, okay. Board. Thanks, Alexander. Borg. The big fish know those rules and manipulate the market so they make money from the people who follows the old rules. If you say, though, I don't discuss that with you, you can figure it out by yourself. So I follow still these rules because it's based on a business principle, buying cheap and selling expensive. We had to follow that rules if you want. If you don't want, you don't have to do it. You can figure it out by yourself if you think it, not, it doesn't work. So give me please an argument against, we can debate this. If you have an argument against this argument that I say, the only way how you can make money is buying cheap and selling expensive. There's, is there any argument against? Then tell me. If not, you should think about it. And buying cheap and selling expensive is trade in the correction up to the last point two. That's the rules. So, but you think if you think you can work with different rules, do it. It's not my lifetime, it's yours. Uh, you can try to figure it out by yourself. So therefore I follow the rules for Mr. Charles Dow. And as long as the stocks is existing, And as long as the rule, as we work with trading, these rules are working. And we have every day, every single day, have this, uh, we get the proof that we come out from correction up to at least 0.2. And this is the hit quote, you know? Hit quote means from the correction, from the accumulation phase up to the last 0.2. That's all. Afterwards, After we reach the point two, what happens afterwards? It's a question of your own trading stuff, trading style. If you sell half the position, yeah. Which trading is doing Oliver Clem? Volker, ask him, please. It's not the it's not the it's not uh, the topic of my morning briefing show. So that's the rules, which means we need a valid trend. 
a young trend, you know, buying cheap and correction, buying cheap. And then we need a visible sign to come into that accumulation phase because we are not those guys. They uh, influence the market. So we as private traders, we need any visible sign that we can see, okay, the big fishes are turns the price, the turn the price. So therefore you can work with candlestick patterns in the correction zone, or maybe you can work with a balance candle, whatever it is. Um, point is you need a visible sign. Okay, so what do we expect for upcoming events today? It's the API weekly statistical bulletin. For me, it's not important as a private, as a swing trader tomorrow. Tomorrow we expect a US interest rate decision, but about that topic we talk tomorrow. So let's go to our charts and we start with the DAX trade. And here we go. So yesterday, we made uh, this trend as uh, that was the rules. You see another proof out of the correction. There was the balance candle. We hit point two, hit quote fulfilled. And afterwards, yes, I trailed my stop a bit. Then the market came back and get me, got me out. So it was a zero gain. Yeah, that's the benefit if you work with partial profits. So we did it again. And look, last night, I was not there, and unfortunately, uh, they missed my target. So just two or three points, and that was a little bit annoying, but sometimes it is. So um, therefore, I trailed before I went to bed. I went, uh, I trailed my stop into profit, and you see, that was a, <laughs> it was a good decision because the price went down again. And um, I didn't lose money. So, and protecting your money is the most important thing what you have to do in trading. So this morning we came, we tested the last point three. So we saw more bias again. Then we had this kind of balance candles and I opened a position this morning again cause it was the still the second, the first possible correction cause we didn't have a trend continuation and we didn't have a trend break. So the trend was still valid this morning here. So it was my duty to make this trade again. So, but the market decides to go in the other direction. So the market, uh, they got me out this morning with a small loss, what I calculated before I started the trade. So, and now you can see we are in a downtrend right now. So in the move, and actually we have to wait for the next correction. And then we can think about a short trend cause now we have a downtrend. It's the first pause, it's the, the, now the trend is valid by the way. Now we are waiting for a correction and then a balance candle uh, like this one. Oh, by the way, rule number three, correction has to run at least 38%. And then we can think about the balance candle and then we can go short. So point of control, by the way, is still up as we must uh, realize. So, but however, it is like it is, we have the price is not part of the rules, just kind of orientation. And as you can see in, uh, in some other, in some other um, uh, programs, you can see the point of control switched to the lower side. So actually, there at round about uh, 15,603 euros, there is the point of control. So therefore we are fair price, which means it's a good idea to go short because there around is the point of control right now. Maybe they will switch it during the rest of the day. However, the trend is valid. Next correction, we have to go short. In the other, um, currencies and the other products we are trading is the Dow Jones in hourly chart. Claudia, wonderful good morning. Welcome back from your vacation. I hope you had a great vacation. You are still healthy and uh, I'm here, happy that to have you here back. So uh, yeah, the trend is still old in Dow Jones and we hit the all time high yesterday. You could see they, uh, they made a breakout 
and a new all-time high at 35,172 dollars by one future contract. And now we are going in the correction. And don't forget, we are deep in the green zone and maybe we will get a chance to go short when we have a new trend. In gold, in gold, I want to explain my mistake. And here you see I'm the biggest idiot ever. And, and you can learn a lot of things about, not what I'm talking to you, about my mistakes. So as you remember, we had um, the first, if you traded with, um, with two contracts, then you have a winner. The first one, the second one was a loser, but the trend was still valid. So yesterday I explained, I don't want to go short again, because why? I saw stupidly this support zone here. In that case, the resist zone. So, and therefore I can explain very, very clearly how stupid it is to work with such stupid things like resist or support because no one cares. It's just my perception. Why is it? Look at this one. If I go to the weekly chart, so you can the weekly chart see there right now. So where is the resist? Can you see it? There is no resist. Just it was my perception. And instead, you see, there is no resist. It's just a trend in the correction. That's all. So you see how stupid it is to work with private perceptions like just your pen. And this is how stupid. Look, because we... Uh, sorry, I want to go short in the hourly chart. So, and you see, instead, what I try to explain you all the time, you see, instead of taking these signals and to speculate to reach the last point two, which we reach right now, I decided to work with my stupid perception. And you see, please, in heaven's sake, learn this from my mistake. So this was another winner because we have fulfilled the hit quote again. So, and therefore, please take it literally personally. So it's stupid to work with private perceptions. Fulfill the rules. If the rules are there, if the signal is there, push the button, calculate your money and let it go. So, and I'm quite sure, and this is the big punishment for my idiotic behavior. I'm quite sure that we finally reached a point of control and then it's kind of lost everything. You see how stupid it is to work with perceptions like, oh, there is a resist. Oh, there is a, uh, a support. There is no support and resist in the order book. There's just only cheap prices, expensive prices, expensive prices, cheap prices. You see what happens? And it would be enough to, uh, or if uh, it would be enough to make money in there, partial profits there, let it run. So please learn it from my behavior, how stupid it is to work with perception, with perceptions in trading, by the way. Okay. Crude oil, we have a trend break actually circling around the point of control. And um, yes. No trend, by the way. If you can go in the next correction, sure. If there is a next correction, then we can do it again. Wait for the next correction. But I promise you, they will go directly to the point of control. And then you cannot go in again because then the chance, the big chance is over. Yeah. So, but this is why I tell you, if the rules are there, just do it. Just do it. Crude oil and Euro USD. Um, we have two trends actually, and the main trend is still facing downwards. And now we are in a new uptrend, which is the right one. And here we are in the correction. Uh, here we are in the correction right now. Price, there's a lot of pressure, more buy, more sellers actually in Euro. But we are coming into the correction zone. And we can measure this. And you see, 
we maybe with this candle, we have a close below 38%. Then we can wait for a balanced candle because we must realize point of control, you know, is quite far away. So my basic situation or my basic direction is up back to the point of control, unless uh, they will switch the point of control to the current price because we must realize for the moment, okay, there is quite high volume zone there at this price where the price is currently right now. So, and if the price will remain there at this price zone, that it is possible that the market switch the point of control to the lower side, yeah? Would you go in today? Ah, I'm not sure. You know, you are right, Alexander. We have the rate decision tomorrow. And the closer we come to that decision, uh, but the decision is tomorrow in the in German evening. So I guess it should be, we have to fulfill the rules. I don't want to repeat uh, the, my same mistake like I made it in, in gold. So if there is a signal uh, and should be enough to reach the point two, and basically for the moment, yeah, uh, we have to go up. Anthony, in your chart, the point of control has changed already. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So, but if the point of control changed already to this lower side, then this is the fair price, which means there is that has no effect to my signals. It just means that we have more, that we have space to go up but less space to go down because more down is cheap. So therefore let's fulfill the signals. Okay, I have a trading idea. I missed it yesterday about weekly chart guys. And this is Euro Russian ruble. You know, we are uh, far enough from um, point of control. We have a changing of the color last week again to blue which means we have to go short as soon as we can go short there. And as soon as the market is open, actually market is closed. So as soon as the market opens, we can set a pending order here below that candle from, that, from last week with a stop loss above the blue candle from last week. And of course, then we should trail into the direction of the current point of control. So I have a question for you guys. Big, quick question. And Anna, if you are ready for a rumble, we can, uh, we can, uh, I want to ask you about a special question in your opinion, by the way, in your perception, by the way, what do you think is a small account? less than $1,000, less than 10,000, or less than 100,000. What's your perception? Because you know, my topic is how small is a small trading account. And this is a bit of my um, topic for today. But first, let's see what we can do. And I want to show you, um, there was a small loss in Euro British pounds, because there was the trend. You see, that was our trend with movement, correction, move. And in the correction, then we had there the balance candle. There was the balance candle. So we opened a position yesterday. But, but after, I must realize that we had a trend candles in the wrong direction, in my wrong direction. I had to trail my stop loss. So my first stop loss, initial stop, we are below the last point three. So, but the moment I realized I'm in the wrong bus, I got out immediately. So it was just a small loss. But as long, guys, as the trend is still valid, we have to do it again with the next signal cause point of control is still up in four hourly chart. But we realize, okay, guys, there is a volume zone. It's almost the same while you like the point of control. So, but the trend is still valid and we can reach at least the last point two as long as the trend is still valid. With the next signal, we have to do it again. So question, what is a small account? Oh, we have 
really mixed results, less than 1,000, less than 10,000, or less than 100,000. Really, really interesting. So what's about our other running trades? Australian dollar Swiss franc, uh, actually nothing to do, still on track to the back point of control. Canadian dollar Swiss franc, we are circling around the entry for the moment, actually nothing to do. Canadian dollar Japanese yen still on track, nothing to do, you know, point of control is quite far away. Australian dollar, Euro Australian dollar, again, nothing to do. We sold half the position, we are in profit, there is nothing to do. So Euro Swiss franc, one of our oldest trend. Oh my gosh, look. <gasps> Really? Jesus! It must be the spread. Oh my gosh, look. And now you have the biggest proof ever. We reached the point of control. We reached the coin point of control after such a long time. I promised you we will reach it and we reached it already. Even my target is still in. However, it's awesome, right? Come on, guys. It is awesome. It is awesome. And I hope, and don't make it uh, depending from my, from my current account, even I'm in a deep, deep drawdown phase. Don't mix it, yeah? So I'm not perfect. I make my own mistakes, but this... It's what I teach you all the time. We work with prices and prices, prices are moving from expensive to normal, from normal to cheap or back expensive, but always the same. It is and we won. It's over right now and we won. Yes, Danny, Chaka, we did it. Yeah, this is what I teach you. And this is what makes you successful on a long run, on a long run, not a short run, on a long run. And if you trust the price and the system, and how did it, how did it go? With one candle? No, just look at a little bit like this one. Movement, corrections, movement, corrections, movement, corrections, movement, corrections. And if you doubt this, that rules are old and the big fishes destroy the system, then I can, then I must say, stop trading and do anything else. Go hiking or bowling or whatever, or make new kids, whatever you do, but stop trading. If you don't believe that system, you are not right here in your in trading, yeah? Because all other systems, if you work with moving averages, if you work with uh, whatever support resist, all those things are based on what? On price and trend. On price and movement and corrections. On price and trend. That's all over and out. You can spend a lot of lifetime to figure out if there is another way, of course, but at the end, the only thing what you can see in the order book, the only what you can see in the order book, I show you again, the only thing what you can see in the book map, in the order book, are two things, price, volume, that's all. So, and then based on that, there is one business principle. The only way to can, you can make money in your normal life and in trading is buying cheap and selling expensive. And if you doubt that, it's okay for me. But then I have to tell you this, stop trading and do something else. All the other things you will lose and waste your precious lifetime. And don't forget, we only have this one life, okay? So 
yeah, let it go for the moment. And as long as I don't have a contrary signal, I don't go out. And hopefully uh, they will take me out in the next hours, I hope. Otherwise, I will go out manually because I reached my final target. Euro New Zealand dollar, we are circling. We had an entry there. So, and you could see here is the same, guys. Here is the same. Uh, we had an entry there about the balance candle here. So, and then I saw yesterday, I saw trend candles which are working against me. So, therefore, I trailed my stop from the point three up to the last low. So to, to cut a possible loss. So actually price is going a bit up. So, but we are circling around the point of control. So everything can happen there. Then US dollar Canadian dollar. Also nothing to do for the moment cause we are on track to the point of control and uh, we sold half the position, stop losses in profit. We cannot lose money. And this is the most important point. We cannot lose money. Okay, that's our current trades. We are running, uh, we are running in for the moment and also nothing to do. Let's check the DAX. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of pressure today. Okay, so let's wait for the next for the next correction. The next correction must come, you know, prices. We trade with prices. So what is the MD indicator? Market profile, you need, uh, it's based on volume. And uh, as you once you realize what you're doing in trading, and I hope you will realize it very, very soon, um, that you work with prices, not with DAX, not with Euro, not with gold, not with oil. You tra trade just the price and prices or develops by the volume. So therefore you need an indicator. It's a good idea to have this one. It's not a need, but um, it should, it, it's a good idea that you know where are you about the price. Otherwise you are uh, stumbling blind into the market. So as I said, if you want to have this indicator, go on my homepage, please. And there is a contact formula on, uh, not, not this. Uh, where is my... Uh, here we go. On my homepage, dowhow-trading.com, there you will find a contact formula and then you can uh, switch to English if you want. It should be possible to switch in English, by the way. So, and then you have a contact here on the right side there. Yeah, here we go. That's the contact formula. And then you can uh, send me a contact and then I give you the link to the indicator. Okay, guys, what is a small account? We have a winner. Less than 10,000 says it's uh, less than 10,000 euro. So what is indeed, what is a small account? I want to give you a bit information about that. So every single person, you know, has its own perception of money. So how do you think about 50 euros or dollars? Type in the chat box. Do you think or for you personally, 50 euros? 50 euros or dollars is that a lot of money for you or is that not a lot of money for you so what do you think privately personally 50 dollars is it a lot of money for you or is it small money for you a bit so maybe you say it's not a lot not a lot but already something absolutely yeah so but if you think worldwide, and if you think about people that are living in Africa or in Asia or wherever, then they can feed the whole family for even a month. 
But for other guys, it's just a tip in a restaurant. And I know those guys in Frankfurt, of course, if they are in the right mood, then they give 50 bucks tips. But we know, but we know if you ask a dad or a mom in Africa or in Asia and to give, you will give them $50, you make them really, really happy. Or maybe we don't have to leave our own country, for example, in Germany. We have enough poor old people here in Germany. And if you give them 50 euros, you can make them happy because they can live one week or two weeks with 50 euros or 50 dollars. So, you know, if you remember the thing with the pen, you know, for you, maybe it's a pen. But if there is coming a, a little puppy dog in it, then this puppy dog will write on it. So for the dog, it's a chew toy. For you, maybe it's a pen. So who is right? Both are right. It's quite, it's a question of perception. Literally, it's nothing. Because if I put the pen there and no one is in the room, then it's literally nothing. That's the concept of emptiness. It's a concept of emptiness, you know? It's empty. Only your, in your perception, it's a pen. For a dog, it's a chew toy, yeah? Otherwise, it's nothing, literally nothing. So, and that's a crucial point. Small doesn't mean in ultimate way it's small because it means something different for everyone around the world. So as a consequence, we need another point to where we can apply the term small account, where we can, we need a kind of comparison with that. So most inexperienced traders have a lack of understanding as to how they can make money with trading. So we come to trading, you know, with hopes, dreams, wishes, and you know, our biggest dream from the beginning, why we come to trading is to make money and to make living with trading maybe, to quit the job, to make just only trading, yeah? But after a while, we figure out it's not that easy to make money as the market make us, or want us make us believe, you know? We make losses, we destroy the account, we lose money, we win money, we lose money, we win money, we lose money. It's a stupid game. And with your first losses on your trading account, you realize that your dreams are not attainable as easily as you thought when you come to trading. So really, you realize that your account might not be large enough. So we need another point where we can figure out what is a small account. And I hope guys, I really hope that you will join the session tomorrow because tomorrow we can continue with this topic. And it's a very, very important topic because it is, um, it's, um, how should I say? Yeah, it depends how you can make money in trading and how much money you can make. So therefore, I hope you can join the session too tomorrow, right before the markets open 8.30. Let me say thanks to everybody of you to listen to me, to Anna for supporting me every morning. And uh, yeah, I will hope you have a great day and we will see each other tomorrow again. Have courage and be kind and may the force of the rules be with you. See you tomorrow.